Hey, it is Tay Rose, and you're watching this episode of Keeping Up with Tay Rose. So, man, I just came from work. I'm just gonna show you my outfit in the mirror. But if you see my fingers, you would have noticed that I took off the nails because what I did, and I know I'll for sure to not do this ever. I filled my other gel X nails that I did, and when I filled it, like when you, f when I feel gel X, it's weird because it's just, I'm using the builder gel, so it doesn't turn out as it should. So I decided, man. Plus, it was going on anyway, so I decided to just like remove all of them and then just like start fresh. So I could have like a fresh set, especially for Saturday. So here we are with no nails. I had it today, um, and it was fine. I mean, it's easy to like do things, but it's hard if you want to open things because then it like hurts the nail bed. I don't know. And then I like, I um did my, I filed my own nails. I used the electric file, but not like the massive one, but the one by Flawless, like the basic ones that you get from Sally Hansen, Walmart. I used that and I did my cuticles and such, and I kind of cut, not kind of, but I did cut my um cuticle like it burns so i need to put some rubbing alcohol in there so that way it can get disinfected but i mean i did do soap and water so i'm okay but i still need to it needs, it needs a little more treatment to burn but i'm going to show you my outfit of the day okay so this is my outfit of the day it's very basic but hey i'm just coming from work so i'm wearing this sweater from time and true by Walmart and then wearing these Jessica Simpson jeans from Burlington and I just have my hair up because I just don't feel for my hair as of lately I'm gonna divvy up my hair Saturday but for this week I just put it in a claw clip so I can preserve as much work as I can and I don't gotta do too much and I'm wearing my same five below watch band because it's gone with every outfit this week I was just having a chill week like for real, for real. I'm going to stop talking, I'm gonna change, and then I'm gonna start my nails, but y'all not gonna see that on here. You're gonna see that in another video because I plan on doing that, which I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can explain to you about the nails. So my goal was to do black tips for my nails and then like do some spunky design, because hey, that's me, that's what I do. But then unfortunately, the Gelex nail tips I got from, so I got, there's two different kinds. So there's one from Shein, which if you know Shein, you know it's not gonna come within an instant, right? Let me order, let me make some orders off Amazon. So I ordered not just um the Gel X nails with the black nail tips. I also ordered my top for the night out for the um, event this Saturday. I also ordered a cuticle remover, which that was really good. But then, then my top came and so did the cuticle remover, but then that got back order to, that was supposed to come yesterday, which was the 9th, because today is the 10th. So it was supposed to come today. I look at it today. It got pushed back to tomorrow, and I was looking at it this morning. It got pushed back to tomorrow. Then I look at it not too long ago, like I track in my package from Amazon. It gets pushed back to Friday. So I'm like, no, no, actually, it got pushed back to Saturday, my fault. When I checked it this morning, it was pushed back to tomorrow. When I checked it not too long ago, it got pushed back to Saturday. So I'm like, okay, forget it. I'm not going to wait on those tips. The nails would have been fire because it would have been like all black everything. Because it is a all black party with sneakers. It's my first time going out wearing sneakers, but it is um, the attire. Like I was ready, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to wear the nails. I can't leave my nails like this until, the, until they come. So I'm going to do something else. I have another idea that I'm going to um, do. So I just need to perform that on my nails. I mean, as for the length, I don't know yet. It is fall, so it can't be too long because it's no longer summer, one and two. I'm at work, okay? Still gotta keep everything appropriate. I don't know. Just wanna get, tell y'all about the nails because I was just so, I was, I was mad. I was like, seriously? But then I already had a backup plan anyway. And I have a bunch of other Gel X nail tips, so it's fine. It is fine. But I'm just gonna change and I'm going to eat. And then I'm gonna do my nails. Okay, so I ate my dinner, which it was just some, um, it was um, grilled food, like grilled ribs, um, grilled jerk chicken. The ribs are also jerked as well, and rice and peas, but some people call it rice and beans. 
So my Shein package um came one of the few that came because I've been on Shein. I just want to show you that this was um one of the shoes that I got. Um, so I don't remember the price of this, but I got these clogs. I also have a darker one too, so that way. If I want to go casual, I can wear that one. This one is more so dressy because it has like a little buckle. I love it so much. It's so cute. I'm going to say from now though, these run small. Because I got my exact size, a size 7. And it was, it was like at my heel. Like I could not, like I was like, uh, I cannot function. Okay. I'm going to um, get my money back because that's what they gave to me anyway. I got my money back and so I got me a size 8. And a size 8 was superb. I also got me this squishy, because my heart squishy that I had. I mean, I'm like, so some things are coming out. And anytime when you have like a squishy toy and it pops, I hear that the chemicals within it are not good for skin contact. So you want to throw it out ASAP. So that is what I did. And so I got me this Sakura or Tree Blossom squishy thing. The texture feels like slime, so I'm not going to take it out the packaging but i mean um, i can still like squeeze it and it's a lot fun you could just like kind of do like that i also i've been looking at it been looking at it been looking at it and i'm like okay let me just get it i got this gmmo eyelash curler and this is a heated eyelash curler of course a girl had to get this in pink because what would i be without getting a pink one let me take it out of the packaging all right so this is is the jmmo Heated um, lash curler. So there are three temperatures. There is low temp, medium temp, and high temp. I did do research on the Shein website, and they said that the high temp is for if you have lash clusters, not lash clusters, but your falsies. And they, they told like what the medium temp was for. I, I don't think I would use anything higher than the low temp on my lashes because, let me see, I'm just looking. It looks like you have to go on the website. I mean, and they'll tell you what to use it for. Medium temp, I forgot, but the low temp is for like your natural lashes. I'm saying from now, I would not use this on high temp on my lashes. I feel like that is extremely dangerous. The reason why I even bought this is because my lashes, my actual lashes, they grow downward. And I used to cut them. And so, everybody, including my sister, was telling me to not cut your lashes. Which, it makes sense because it's going to grow back in its own state. So, I don't cut my lashes anymore. It looks flimsy, but I'm hoping it's good. So I'm just going to press the power button. Woo! Indicator. So this is high temperature. This is low temperature. And this is medium temperature. And I can feel the heat already on this. I'm going to put it on low temp. I'm just going to... Go like that and I can feel it. I would just like kind of like go like that. I think this could work like before your, like, your lash clusters as well, but... Hmm. Okay. I just want to train my lashes so that way they can curl upward. And then this there's an off button. That is neat. I'm gonna wipe it off with like alcohol. Cause yeah. Like technically you're supposed to undo that. Like I just like went in. Like that was not okay, Tay. Not okay. But I've heard of this brand from Shein, J M M O. And I've been wanting to try something from them and I finally um am going to try something from them. So this is for if I see that my lashes are curling downward, then I could just curl them up. And it looks like it looks like it actually does curl. If you look right here, because it goes up. I like that. Yeah. It curls. Okay. Alright, so definitely low temperature for my lashes. I'm thinking medium temperature might be for lash clusters, I think. But and it makes sense because again, it's your lash plus the lash clusters. And then high temperature for the lashes for any falsies that you're wearing okay and it comes with a little charger which th this is like it's like a collector's item honestly we're just having all these chargers because that's what everyone's doing i know it's nothing is ever battery operated anymore there's no more batteries it's all usb and then i got me some cases and these cases are like motivators so that way if i'm feeling down and out oh there goes my pair of stanley i need to take me a little sippity sip I know I say Paris Stanley, but it's not an actual Paris Stanley. It's just a Paris Hilton cup, but I love it also very much because it's so cute. <clears throat> Had it for a whole year. I don't think I'm going back because this is 
the amount of water that I need to drink per day. But moving on to what I was originally talking about, and my hands getting tired, so I gotta switch. I bought me some cases, and these phone cases are like motivational cases. So if I'm feeling down and out, I can refer to it and say, okay, I got to keep pushing. So this first one I got is God will never fail you. Because it is true. As long as you pray and believe, you God not going to fail you. I also got this one, which I also have this in a hoodie. But I haven't worn it out yet. I want to wear it out soon. But I just got to see the temperature before I wear it out. Because it's pretty thick, the hoodie that I'm talking about. But it's just is, it's kind of warm right now. Okay? But it's faith over fear. And this is supposed to be in pink. But it's like giving frosted pink. I don't know if you can see it. So my phone's gonna be looking very monochromatic. It says, the Lord is my on my side. I will not fear what can man do to me. Psalm 118.6. Well, that's a reminder um too for like work or relationships. Like, what can mankind do to me? <laughs> like, and then finally, this one was so cute, but I had to order it so quick because it was almost sold out. I was like, nah, I can't go without this case being sold out. And it is this. It's, it's so cute. It says God is so much bigger than, and then this is out what God is bigger than. I'm gonna include, put all these in the description box um, below so that we all could try it out for yourself. And they have like, they even have the iPhone 16 and six, they have all the iPhone 16 series for all these cases as well. I did order my tablet cases. So that's gonna be in the shorts. All right, so stay tuned for that. I mean. I'm going to keep my YouTube things on YouTube, okay? So make sure you stay tuned within my YouTube posts so y'all can know when that's happening. Like, I wish I had YouTube stories because then I would, like, drop in, like, little sneak peeks of what is to come. But I don't have that luxury as of yet. I'm going to stop talking. I'm doing like this because my hand is tired, so this is how we doing. <laughs> I'm going to do my nails, so obviously my nails are going to be different. I was talking with my sister, and she was like, just do the white tips and then just finesse it. So I'm like, yeah, she's right. I'm going to do some white tips and then finesse it. Which, ironically, a year ago, I did the BTR nails white tips. But what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put the Builder Gel over it because just like any Gel X nails with white tip, they tend to peel and i do not want that i want my nails to look good 24 7 so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do some white tips finesse it a little bit and then we're gonna go from there so as you can tell i just got my nails did by myself <laughs> so this is what we got going on let's gotta do like this because this is how the bow is facing two hours later and this is where we at nail tutorial coming soon now i gotta clean up <laughs> all this mess going on one and then two i gotta pick me out an outfit even though girl it's gonna be like close to 70 degrees so jeans bodysuit not give me a jean jacket that's it it is the next day and i'm getting ready but it is the next day and i'm trying to back camera if you haven't noticed so i'm gonna show you a better picture of my nails hopefully it is i'm zoomed in so you can see what's going on but that is the um right hand the left hand let me show you what happened to my pinky my my hand looks so dumb because of this but it is what it is i am using the same ulanzi m835 camera grip on here so i am using the back camera just to um so y'all can see what it's like and i just want to try the back camera too because, I mean, yesterday I did the front camera. I didn't have this on. I have the mirror attached to here as well. My arm hurt, but that's why I bring it a little lower. <laughs> Gotta do some arm exercises or something, because why my arm hurt all of a sudden? I just want to tell you that I'm getting ready. And I have two products I want to try from Dollar Tree that I'm going to show you all. In the mirror, I look good, but I just got to see how I look in the camera. I'm going to first try this LA Color Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. And in here, this one has a spoolie. So I am more than excited to try that out. And then I saw all the girls were talking about it on Lemon 8. But I'm like, okay. I want to try it out for myself to see what it's like. It is this LA Girls Shimmer Lip Gloss. They had a lip balm too, but I don't do chapstick. I got the lip gloss in Sweetie. 
So this looks like a mauve shade. And it looks like there's some gold specks in there as well. So I'm not gonna do like a get ready with me cause I'm not really doing much. I'm going to do my brows, put on my facial moisturizer, of course. It is sunny outside, so I need to put on like my sunscreen, which I need to buy that too um, today. There's a couple things I wanna buy, but they're gonna come with me. But before I am done, I'm just gonna show y'all my outfit. So this is my outfit. I mean, don't mind the stuff on my bed. It's just like um, like leftover laundry. But I am wearing this shirt from, not shirt. Why am I saying shirt? Girl, it's a hoodie. I'm wearing this hoodie from Shein. And then I'm wearing these jeans, just like dark blue jeans. And then I'm wearing these shoes. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. It's been a minute since I've worn these shoes. So I'm gonna see how they are. I feel like it goes with the outfit. My original out like outfit in my mind was for this to be like truly oversized, not fitted. Cause the idea was for me to wear this but like it comes like down to here if not like longer like a hoodie dress but then i wear my leggings and then i would wear my foam runners that was the original idea but when i got this in the mail and i put it on i'm like oh okay so this is what we're working with she in but i mean it still is cute and there's a good message on behind it so that is what i'm doing i'm gonna bring my same not that brown bag but my same Victoria's Secret bucket bag from the last vlog and then I'm gonna wear these um, Steve Madden shoes which them shoes I got um it was like $100 flat but I don't know and sorry I just got a message from um Lemonade I mean not like Lemonade Beauty or whatever but like someone was commenting on one of my own posts but let me stop talking because time is not waiting on nobody and I need to do my brows and I need to do my um lip gloss and i need to moisturize my face too my face is feeling super duper dry so i did the eyebrows i mean you see how the eyebrows are looking so i feel like all la color anything for la colors that's for the brow collection is not going to be as pigmented so this is what i got and then on top of that i used the ioni brow gel as well so it looks extremely natural which is not bad if you're someone that wants an extremely natural on brow, but if you don't want that, then this is not for you. I know I'm, I know my issue with me and the products so far is that it's very difficult to glide on. And so it leaves me looking very sheer on parts where I don't want it to be sheer. So that is my main issue. And then the spoolie was rough. So I think I'm gonna take a break from the LA Colors things. I mean, it's only a dollar 25, so you wanna try it for yourself, you can do that, but I know for me, I'm gonna go back to my NYX because I love my NYX micro brow pencil. Like that mess hits different than CoverGirl. But a CoverGirl within a week, it ends like that. So I don't know about that one. My NYX lasts longer than the CoverGirl. And I'm sorry that I'm like this, but my arm is starting to get tired. But I do, I'm um, like the um, liquid. Sorry. I do. I mean, it's not really Terrazay approved. I'll say it's on par to not being Terrazay approved. Because it just is very sheer and I don't like how this booty was rough. This is the um, lip gloss. This is in the shade Sweetie. It is buildable. And at first I did not like the shade. I was like, ew, this is gross. But once I was able to put it on, I was able to apply it on my lips. I like it. And this is like, let me see. So this is how we are looking. But I'm going to like fix my hair now and I'm going to put on my glasses. I just don't like wear my glasses when I'm vlogging because there's like a whole glare. We don't do glares over here. But in the next few clips, you're going to see me out and about. All right, so I'm in um, Elf, um, or I'm in Ulta. So I'm just looking for a couple things. Looks like they have like, like a lot of cool ones. Ooh, bro, look, I got so distracted. But this is so pretty. This Meta Glow Multi-Reflective Lip Gloss for, it's $4.99, but I'm gonna come back to this stuff. There are two necessities I wanna find, and then I'm gonna go from there. Okay, so I mean, I was trying to find the ColourPop Stranger Things, but I do not see that, but this part looks so cute. Look, 
They have pistachio pop, um, daydream skies, um, cashmere cross. Like Ulta Beauty is just doing their number, but I'm trying to find barista because I mean um, that is what I'm um, doing. So I found um the barista thing, but I need to see which one it is for, so that I can um, redeem it because I have a gift card from Influencer. So I need to redeem. So I found the lip glosses. It's twenty eight dollars. This looks so cool. Where are you? Right here. Run. I want to get that. Up. And I also picked up another one of these because mine is almost finished. But I'm gonna save it for next summer. And then I also see this too. This is a chrome liquid eyeshadow duo. So I want to pick up another one too. Let's see if they want tampered with it. And the one that's tampered with it. It looks so pretty. Like look at that shift. I feel like they, they have nothing um, here. Like they don't have no number seven. They don't have um, like the the dry shampoos. So and I'm looking for like the little rings that people be um, finding on um, Lemon 8. Let me see if I can um, find those. But it's the um, same thing on um, Tuesdays. I feel like most of my stuff I'm gonna have to order online but through the cash register because I cannot find anything. You guys, I found it. So this is the this is a duo, I don't want that. This is nice too, which it's like gone, but this is what I was looking for. It's like $22, let's see. And then this is a tester. Okay, this is really cute. I was gonna get it, but I don't think it is practical. I'll have to think about this one. I'm gonna go back to um, Essence. I mean, I was gonna get it, but you gotta put your own finger in there, and it's not like it's not sanitary, so I want to get it. So we just go um go back to this. It's only four ninety nine each, so I'm gonna get one from the back actually, cause I don't play that. So I'm gonna get this gloss. It's so pretty, and it looks like they have like a new um thing. You know, I have so much things that are foundation related. I want to go through those. I don't want to get that, but this is a good deal for $5.99. I finally found it, the multi-chrome flake toppers. They finally have it, but now I'm over it. I don't even want it anymore. So I'm in line now, and I only got like four things, but that is okay. All right, so I it's 9.20 now, or 9.21. And I had came home close to five o'clock, but girl, I had a massive headache. Headaches. I had a massive headache, and like I can still feel it, but I'm better for the most part. I had to buy me Tylenol and um, some water and warmer and drink it. Like it was, it was starting to get worse. But then I started to feel a little better. I had me um, I had my dinner, but I didn't have all of it. And then we was watching. The bad boys movie it was pretty good i wasn't gonna like do my night routine but i'm like nah it's been a few weeks since you've done your face i'm not gonna show that on camera because i've done it so many times and i feel like everyone is getting tired of it so i'm just not gonna um, do that so i won't do that i'm gonna show you my outfit on the bed i mean i should try it on but i'm not going to um tonight I'm just gonna put it on tomorrow. So hang on. All right, so this was unexpected, but I got this um, Boussier um, top from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. And then I'm wearing these jeans by Wild Fable. I got it from Burlington. I forgot that these jeans have like little rips in it, so. I don't know, like the vibe is completely um different. And guess what? My black nail tips just came in too. So I don't know how I feel about that. Cause like um the vibe is gonna be completely um different. But I'm gonna still make it um cutesy, but like it has like the rips in it. I do have like um like a natural wash, but like I want it to be like fully like black on black. So I mean my purse has has to be plain. I have plain black purses i mean my jewelry still going to be on um, the same no matter what but i don't know all right so with my 
bustier and these jeans my original idea was to do this neck tennis necklace not with this i'll show you um another pendant so i wanted to do this with this because it's like girly and it low-key goes with the nails so i feel like it'll be like so much and then i don't know i mean anytime i want to like wear this like i get i don't know i don't say i get iffy but like i want to wear my jewelry but i'll be having to like think okay but like not this but like kind of this with this or i'll just wear um this and even put it with this because because this pendant is like really like wide like this part right here i could do like a really dainty tennis necklace or i could do like the um big one right here or i could just go plain with um the butterfly like that i'm not sure of but i'm gonna definitely wear like um all white shoes with like a little pink hair in there um but i'm just gonna turn the camera back on to me all right so the jewelry um is very different like everything is very different than what i had expected but my whole idea is very different than what i expected um to be like i expected it to be like just like plain because it would have been like set but that is um not plain at all so i feel like i need to do another round of like denim shopping but look for like plain like wide leg jeans which i saw one at um gc pay but it was gray and your girl especially now cannot do gray um but that's okay we're gonna, we're gonna push through if my outfit changes my outfit changes but my makeup is gonna still be the same because it is a all black party with sneakers so i'm cooling i'm cruising so i'm not gonna stress about it on too much i'm just going to get ready for my um night routine like i said before i'm not going to i'm not going to show that on camera because i do it all the time i don't want anything to be redundant on here i mean by the time y'all um see me i'm going to i'm gonna make breakfast all right because it's been a minute since i've done that so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get ready for the night that's the goal i mean i gotta do my hair um i didn't get a dry shampoo but i will show you the rest of the stuff that i got from ulta it's not gonna be like my traditional thing because i had a headache and i want to do other things so let's just hang on hang on so here goes my sad ulta haul so i got me back this jelly pop dew primer by elf this will be saved for next summer i got me this essence meta glow multi effect lip gloss and this is in the shade is there a shade on here so um the shade is um right here it is three pink vision and then i got a couple of items from the stranger things ColourPop collection i got this talk to me ultra glossy lip trio and where are you right here run and then this is the um monster chrome liquid eyeshadow duo and humanoid and interdimensional so i'm gonna um try these out and i'm gonna do like a shorts with these as well i think i might do like a swatch thing i'm gonna do something a little different than what i've been doing but just stay tuned but i'm gonna order a couple of items from ulta and then i'm just gonna leave us to it i'll see you the next day
all right so do not mind um what i got going on over here i'm gonna fix my hair right now but i just have to show you my outfit girl i mean um this is the bustier from amazon and then this is the shorts by wild fable it's a target brand but i got these from burlington like i didn't expect for my outfit to be this cute like i was so worried because of the um the distress jeans right here like the distress like i was not a fan but girl tell me why i love this outfit it's very sleek and it's like baggy like i like um jeans like this just like baggy all the way down just like straight down like you know what i mean i like this look i like skinny jeans too but like if i'm wearing like a bag of jeans like i don't want nothing like weird i want something like this like fitted on top and then loose at the bottom like this is perfect oh my goodness and then up here is not too much showing all right it's perfect i know like what i did too was like i pulled this up a little higher cut me um this is like a little bra bone and I'm gonna tell you, like, the bra bone is not bra bone, and I did it on purpose, though, because I don't want to show um, too much, all right? I already got enough going on with the jewelry. I didn't want too much attention up here, but if you want to pull your bra bone all the way down, you can do that, but I do not want to do that. Right now, I'm going to curl my hair. I'm going to wait for this to charge, because lately, this has been dying lately, and I am not okay with that. Let me know in the comments below if your phone has been dying, too. Like my phone was at 100% and by um after I was finished like before I took a shower it was at like 20% like yeah I was um filming like breakfast content but that should not be just a quick recap breakfast was amazing 10 out of 10 per use um like everyone loved the um sausages I was surprised because I I did not pick up the right sausages so I was scared but everyone liked it matcha was um not bad if I wanted that same effect hang on if I wanted the same effect like Dunkin' Donuts, I could have gotten the matcha powder. But this matcha by Tazo has apple and pear extract in there. Or apple and pear juice in there. And I wasn't sure how it was going to taste. But that is not bad also. So I was like, okay, 10 out of 10. So I'll definitely be making it at home. But whenever I want the one from Dunkin', I'm going to get the one from Dunkin'. That's if I feel like it, if we're making a Dunkin' run. So there's that. Dinner, I had Alfredo, but I didn't film that. It was really amazing. I had mine in a bowl. I mean, I didn't want um, too much. As you know, I'm going out, and your girl's got to fit the fit. <laughs> I'm not trying to bust out of it, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to curl my hair, and then I'm going to do my um makeup for y'all. So, I just did my hair, but I just put it in the back so it can be away from my um face. So, I'm doing this, and I'm in the midst of rendering my other vlog that would already be out. And that's going to come at the very end. But I'm going to do a get ready with me feature my e.l.f. cosmetics products that I have. And I just realized um, that I forgot two new products. So hang on. I'm just going to do like all e.l.f. products um, for here. But any e.l.f. products that I don't use, I'm just going to pause this and then go from there. So I'm going to use my Donald Power Grip, <laughs> Power Grip Primer. Like you see this like. I don't play like I use all my stuff. My goal is to use this and then move on to my Essence Fix and Last Makeup Grip and Jelly Primer. That's the goal. Okay. The day was good. It wasn't bad. I mean, I just chilled and I just edited that entire um vlog. I made breakfast. It was really good too. And I told you about that. So I don't gotta repeat myself. I mean, it's, this has been running um, across my mind. And I want you to comment if you feel the same. But... I can freely vlog in Marshalls. I can freely vlog in TJ Maxx. I could freely vlog any anywhere else. The only exception is that if you are a conscious a conscious vlogger or someone that is conscious about where you're vlogging, you just gotta be aware of who is in the background and where you are filming just for safety purposes um, only, okay? I'm gonna do the mini version of the poreless putty primer. Now this I had got um, as a gift from e.l.f. So I was gonna use something else, but I'm just gonna use everything, um, not everything, but most things e.l.f. for tonight, just so I can showcase the two new products. Like if you know, you know, if you watch my previous um, episode. I, I can freely vlog places, but the thing is, is you gotta be, um, you just gotta know like who is in the background, cause there's like kids, 
you don't want the kids um to be in your background and um you don't want like because I mean like you could be okay now but then years later if um you go viral and people see your videos and they're like oh shoot sally's in the background hey sally and then Sally's like wait i didn't get permission and then there's a whole um lawsuit like you gotta be aware of who is in your background and then where especially for safety like i know that's what i think about when it comes on to me i'm um, vlogging it's just as like my um safety like where am i um vlogging and i gotta tell y'all the place like i'll just tell you where i am i just won't show y'all where i am because people are aware nowadays and we want to like geo map and document like it's weird out here i just use the elf um cool stay primer stick even though i usually use this first thing in the morning to depuff my eyes but aside from that and i know this next product is not elf but i just want to talk to y'all about this because um, it's like run it's like on my mind it came to mind that every time i want to vlog in ulta like i'll walk in and they'll say hey do you need anything and they're like oh no i'm okay thank you because i like to um walk i like to explore just to see what is in the store that's one two i know where the stuff is i know where the stuff is because i've been to ulta plenty of times i may not go in the stores as much but i've been there like plenty of times so i know where makeup revolution is i know where elf is i know where Too Faced is i know where um those things are but so i don't need you to direct me as to where i am and i'm not being rude but just kindly i i don't need it because i've been there so many times so i know where things are so i mean that's two and then um three when we ask for the products we show you online it's either one of two answers one it's not there yet or two you don't know anything about the product that's iffy but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do my brows off camera i'm gonna um come back at you with the foundation All right so i just um did my brows even though i low-key don't like my brows um right now like one brow is like a little fade like <laughs> i'm gonna fix my um brows um really quick it's a brow product that is not um elf related but i still want my brows to look like i like how my right brow look but like my left brow is looking a bit too natural like I gotta glam it up, glam it up. So I was talking about Ulta. I want to talk about Ulta. I'm going to apply the Elf Soft Glam Satin Foundation. And this is in shade 41, tan neutral. One of the best, I mean, the best foundation face products that Elf has made this year. Elf, do not change your products. Like, do not change anything about this. Do not change the formula, do not change the packaging. Don't change anything about it. Keep it as is. Please and thank you. Sincerely, Tay Rose. So yesterday I was um in Ulta and I'm there like like I made sure like I'm not vlogging anybody, but I'm just like, you know, like it's just me and the products. It's just me, it's just me. But then I noticed that every time when I've noticed that every time when I put my phone down or I'm ready to like vlog. Like it's almost as like they were watching me as if I wasn't going to buy nothing. And I'm not okay with that. Like I was just like, dang, like I'm gonna I'm gonna buy something from here to like just chill out. But now nah, like they just they were just like watchy watchy and I'm like gee. And so like they would come up to me and they'd be like, Oh, I'm so do you need anything? Like they just like kept like circulating and just like and they're like it's like um there's like five of them. I might as well just talk to you about um about the um dry shampoo, which I never got, but I ordered that today from the um website whose PayPal does not work, nor does Apple Pay, like Ulta. Fix your website here. The good thing is that I've got the um foundation, not foundation. I'm wearing the foundation like a foundation, but I got the dry shampoo that I um need. So that way I can um, use it and do my review and whatnot. But I've noticed that. And I'm just like, I'm not okay with that approach at all. Like, why are we making other people feel intimidated? And it's the people. The people that you're watching are the people that will not steal. Like, flatline that. It's people that's going to actually buy something. But the people that you're not watching are the people that are going to 
slip one in the bag and then um the security sounds off like we have to be mindful of how we undo things cuz so it's been a minute since I've used this product I mean um, it's kind of like separating but this is the halo glow beauty wand contour in medium tan like I get medium tan I do not play that and so I'm just gonna do like a few um dots um like here because it is like pigmented like a mug i only do like along like the contours of my face and then along my um hairline which i need to put some more along the hairline because what was it that okay, i'm just gonna unblend this i'm just gonna focus it on back on the makeup but i forget that like it's been a minute since i've worked with um liquid contour but i forget that with anything like this you have to like you have to do like two dots or else it's gonna look so darn weird like look at that <laughs> that looks so weird i think for the future if anything i do not need anything on my um forehead I, but that's okay because i am going to i am going to put on um the satin powder so i'm okay i'm going to now put on the i keep saying put on I'm gonna use as proper um verbiage. I'm gonna be using this Elf Camel Liquid Blush in Dusty Rose. This I got free from Influencer. And, like I'm gonna add like a little pizzazz um to my eye look, and this mess looks so good. Like it looks really good. And um for tonight I will be using um the liquid blush. Okay, I just didn't want to get any more brushes dirty. Hang on. Actually, I'm just gonna keep with this. Yeah, but like. It's just it's like so pretty. I just love it. And I'm just gonna blend it into my contour. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how much I have on cause this is just the base. I'm gonna put powder all over this. And I just realized I forgot to put on some darn concealer. I'm going to now do the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty One Highlight and this is in Rose Quartz, which I, it's funny how like a lot of my makeup um, products, the name is um, Rose Quartz. Cause I have a blush by She Glam, a liquid blush, and it also is named Rose Quartz. It's like, do y'all work with each other? Like, what is happening, people? Like, why are all the names um the same? Why are a lot of the colors um the same? Like, I know that they use the same company, but someone's gotta come up with something different now. And I think that's why I haven't been so much into um the makeup. Like I just saw today that ColourPop and Bratz, they um have a um collection. And I wasn't made aware of the um collection. Like I didn't know about the collection until today. And so I'm going on the on the ColourPop website because also don't never have anything. And so I noticed that like everything's the same. Like I have an eyeshadow palette by Bratz because Revolution um did that mess four years ago. The only thing that I would probably want because I just want to support the um, franchise is the lip kit, either Sasha or Yasmin. But everything is the same. And then um, they also have like this cutie little like glitter, which I have a glitter thing from Miss A. Miss A. Oh, wait, I mean, I don't know. It's like everything is the um, same now. I mean, like somebody's got to come up with something different. And I think that's why people are obsessed with Ioni because Ioni, um, they come different every time. Like they're not playing. And I mean, that's why Ioni is like a game changing makeup brand and with She Glam too. But I mean, I do have my base down. I look a little crazy, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on my concealer and then I'm gonna come back at you with the eyeshadow that I'm using and then a new e.l.f. product. So I'm um, time for the eyes. So I already did my um, concealer. I did my um, different concealer at the top and then I I did different concealer at the bottom and I need to start talking slower so people can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so I know this is not elf related. Like I looked through, I even looked at the Elf and Duncan collection to see if they had any colors similar to what I'm gonna use, but they don't. So I will not be using um anything from there. So I mean I'm going to be um going into B Creations nude X um palette. And the shade I'm going to place all over my eyelids is Breathless. Cause, let me see, I'm just gonna show y'all the decent way. Let's see. We're gonna do Breathless. Matter of fact, I'm gonna change it to Love Me Harder. 
I'm gonna change it to Love Me Harder because I think that'll like that'll be like a really cute um shadow shade for what I'm about to do. And there's a lot of kickback, but hey, at this point you already know what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna put this all over my um lids. I don't I don't want um anything um too much. Like one lid color and you are a okay. So see how pretty that looks. We're just gonna stop it right there. And then, um anytime I do like a lid color, I start at the crease it like the lid itself and then I spread it upward to where my transition shade normally would be just so that way it can have like a little fade because you know if you don't have that fade and I don't know what you're doing and to achieve this blown out effect you want to have a brush like this like this fluffy eyeshadow brush this is the Sonia Kedrick um eyeshadow brush I've had this for years on end unfortunately I do not know um, the name, and this is like years ago. I can't wait for um, that thing to just be done because it is getting on my nerves. I mean, I, um, like, I'm right now, I'm rendering. Now for one of the new products I got. Yay! I'm gonna first try the Finest Fleck Glitter Eyeshadow in Champagne Showers. Like, I am so intrigued. I'm so excited to um, try this out. So I feel like it's going like I think it's, like when you add this, it's gonna either make or break your makeup. All right, because there's so many things that you there's so many ways you can um, go right with this, and there's so many ways you can go wrong with this. Also, I have an idea as to what I want to do with it, but again, I gotta see. Like I just love this is so cute. Like Elf did their thing. Okay, and I'm going to use this Morphe brush. I feel like I have an eyeshadow shade similar to this, but it's fine as Fleck by e.l.f. See if I can. I'm just gonna um, place it on the lid. Okay, this is really pretty. I'm gonna kind of get. A, I'm gonna do like a blown out lid effect. This is kind of giving like what my Profusion Mirage palette would give. So it's nothing spectacular. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, but it's only six dollars. So. It's not that bad, but it also is not like a huge hype. But I can say that the eyeshadow is pretty. I'll say that it's very pretty. And I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna go back into like my um, into like this brush and just kind of like fluff out the ends because I don't want anything sharp. I kind of want it blown out. I want that blown out effect if that makes any sense. But see, look, it's pretty. It's a little something something. I mean, it's not too much. It's just as right. You want the you want to add the right shimmer to this. I'm just gonna do my left eye. Cause I feel like you can see better on my left eye than my right eye. I'm not sure. But I just pack it on. And then like at some point, like if you rub it in, like you'll see it almost I don't wanna say like a foiled effect because I don't wanna um tell any lies, but you do see the product more if you do press into it. Kinda want I definitely wanna add um a lot more cause I got some more of that top layer on the right eye than the left eye. That's the one thing with um shadows, with like shimmer shadows like this, like y the it needs to match. And then also they always add that shimmer shade on top to trick people. So you want to be careful with that as well. So far it is matching. Let me blend this out really quick. Okay, and both my eyes are matching. I'll say the finest fleck eyeshadow, single and champagne showers. It's let me see. I would say this is on par. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's on par, and here's why. One, I've seen a shadow like this before in my makeup collection. Two, that little layer on top, the shimmer layer on top, it's a trickery. It it's a trickery. It tricks you to think that the whole thing is gonna be like glittery. It's just like a shimmer. Cause you see my eye. Okay, so I mean it's not it's not bad, but could I mean, could you buy it? That's if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't say like, yes, you need to go and grab it right now. I wouldn't say that. Okay, so I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I'm gonna come back at you with my um, face powder to set everything. Tell me why it's like almost eight o'clock by two minutes, and I just realized I didn't pick out a purse. If you see me getting like a little like speedy wheel, like I'm speed racer. This is the reason um, why. 
but um, I'm gonna use my Dono <laughs> Elf Camo Powder Foundation in medium T3W. This is almost embarrassing to showcase to y'all cause like why is this dirty? One and two, pan mode much. So after tonight, this is gonna go in the garbage cause well, actually I could um, use it. So I'm set, but look at this. With the exception of um, that horrible bronze um, style that I did, it does blend into my skin with the e.l.f. Um, soft glam foundation. It's so good. I remember that's why I wore it on my entire trip. Like, well, not this setting powder, but the foundation. I wore it on my entire trip with all my outfits. And it was flames. Like, the outfit was um, eaten. Chase that neck, chase that neck much. It's okay if it gets around the mouth area like this. I know it look mad weird, but again, like if you watched my previous episode, you would know the um, next product, but if not, then <laughs> sorry, dude. I had planned on um, doing like TikTok content, but we'll see how far we um get to, we'll see how far we get, but see, look. Do we have nothing to worry about? Cause it's all blended out. So my liquid contour don't look ridiculous. You just got it, what's called? trust the process i don't have anything else that is like alpha related like any contour highlighter or um blush or mascara so i'm just gonna do the rest of that off camera and i'm gonna jump into the lips i have three great news um one the face is done two my video finished rendering and then three i'm on time because it's 8 19 it's time for the lips like i'm pumped now I'm so pumped, it's not even funny, girl. And if you wanna know my lashes, it is the AOA Pro Bionic Vegan Mink and Tai Chi and um, T-Y-C-H-E, that's the name. I'm just gonna now move on to the lippy. So for e.l.f., and you know, it's gonna be all things e.l.f. I think, I'm trying to see what I wanna do. I'm, de I'm indecided to sit between What's the shade? Spill the tea or dark cocoa? I think I might do spill the tea because that's my comfort. And then we're gonna um, go from there. I first need to sharpen it because having having like um sharp edges is crazy. Oh, and I forgot the other good news too. My phone is at sixty six percent, so that's a good thing. So now I know whenever I'm on live or. I'm doing a get right away with me, with y'all. I could just hook it up on um, a portable charger and I'm so solid cause we're gonna make contact to get to that destination. I want my makeup to be soft cause the outfit is black. Okay, like, you know, I love all black everything. Like, I like all black cars, black doll shit. Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. But um, we're gonna, we're gonna officially move on to the lips. So this product, I know a lot of you are excited to see. It is the Elf O Face Shimmer Balm. And the shade that I picked up is Perfection, but they do have another shade, um, Chocolady. It is 8.22 p.m., but Chocolady. This is my first time, this is my first unboxing in front of y'all. Like, I didn't do like a separate shorts. I didn't do anything like that. Like, this is raw and uncut. Y'all the first to um see it. Like, not even like my Snapchat people um, know about this stuff. But look, sleek, sleek. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're not unboxing. We're gonna do a reveal. Look at that. Let's just give this a moment of silence, really quick. It is bedazzling and so gorgeous. I'm gonna try some on my lips. So the finest fleck was okay. Let's see where it is on the scale for me. I suppose the slump, the slump combo is not bad, but I was expecting for more of a shimmer. I'm gonna keep it 100. I thought it was gonna be more of a shimmer. I didn't think it was going to be like this. So I, mean, I pretty much created this lip combo. So if you want it, I did the e.l.f. Glide On Lip Liner and Spill the Tea and 
I did the e.l.f. Old Face Lip Balm, Shimmer Balm, excuse me, and Perfection. That's what I did to get this. I guess it's pretty. I'll say it's on par. Like when you when it when I took it out the packaging and I unveiled it, I was like, yes, this is gonna be terribly approved. But it's on par because of um the execution. But it's still pretty though. I'm not gonna lie, it's still pretty. So I guess it's in between Tarot's A proof and on um, probably Tarot's A proof because it's pretty, but the application just didn't really pay off too much for me. But it's giving something. I can't say, however, Elf duped, didn't dupe Mac. They duped the big guy over here. They duped Tom Ford. It's not the same, but it has a similar concept. Concept. This is um another shade that I got from Influencer. Elf also duped Faux Couleur. Hold the phone. This is the Faux Couleur Hydrating Lip Balm, or this is an Opal Hydrating Lip Balm in Flower Dance. Again, very similar concept. I know this one is like a little more on the cooler side and this one is more warmer, but same concept. And this is what I'm talking about. Like everything is the same. Like, I thought Elf would have added a lot more pizzazz to it. Because I love Elf. Like, I love me some Elf. But it's just like everything else that is on the market. And I know She Glam is going to end up doing the same thing. So, again, not bad. Like, this one, this one will get, like, a blind. I mean, like, the makeup is pretty. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty. But, like, I'm um, like, the wow um, that I... Thought it was gonna give, it doesn't give all the way. Okay, and I don't like lying to y'all. You know, I'm not lying to y'all, I'm just being honest. It's the same thing. Like everyone is um doing it. If you don't get this um for the ten dollars, I wouldn't get upset. If you don't get it, cause Focaler has the what's the one I showed y'all? Flower Dance. It's very similar to this. Flower dance is similar to it. And then I know no one's gonna want to buy Time Force. So I'm not even gonna um, say anything about that, but you get the gist. But this is my makeup, it is almost 8.30, which I think the time is gonna be shifted a little up, which is um not bad, that's perfect, because I wanna make some TikTok, it's been a minute since I've made some um, TikToks. I like to run my fingers on my hair, but because I have the um, 3D um, bows, I can't do too much, so I mean, I'm like, doing like um, finger by finger. And then I'm going to undo these clips, which I ablated my armpits too. Like, girl, I think I over ablated cause both my armpits were burning last night, y'all. Let me um get my um comb. Like both, like both my armpits were burning. Like I had to do my vitamin C lotion. Like that is never okay. Like why are we burning armpits? You know, like it's not the company. Like I just was like, I need to get rid of this hair. And I just went, hand, like, not, I won't say that word, but I went insane. I was just like, oh, I, I just started going in. I'm going to unpin these carefully. Notice that I only did it along the ridges where of the curl. I didn't, like, put it in here to dent it. Because I remember from the last time, I totally dented the hair. And that was not okay. So, that is the hair. The hair is all set. I'm gonna make sure to put these things away. So it turns out I didn't need my um dark cocoa because this is perfect. Like I bought this. I bought the dark cocoa because I'm thinking spill the tea gonna be weak, but in reality, spill the tea is the perfect shade. It gives me Mojave from She Glam. So if you don't want to wait for Mojave to come to your doorstep, then get you the Elf Cosmetics spill the tea. Jewelry time. Okay. So this has been a debate. <laughs> like in my head like literally it's either so i know i'm gonna wear these two chains like there's no doubt on that okay you know this chain is type key annoying it's very annoying because it likes to twist around so as i'm it's either for the pendants it's either this with this thing or i lose this pendant and i do this i don't know i feel like most of my outfit is very girly so I might stick with this, but I don't know. It depends on what everybody um, else says because it's good to have another set of eyes look at your outfit and say, 
oh, yeah, you need to do that. Or, you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, like you can, you could pay your own outfit. I mean, like at some point in age, like everyone knows how to put, how to um, have a put on. But realistically, you need a nice set of eyes to do that. You know, I mean, I'm, like if like, if a shoe, if a shoes don't go right with um the outfit, you want someone to um say that versus you just going outside and then people just looking at you wear like, oh, what's she doing? You know, it's okay to, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do the two. I'm just going to put this on there for now to uh, make the TikToks. Um, and, but I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do two. I got to choose one or the other because this is how we look. I mean, this is just it by itself. Okay. I'm just going to put the tay on there just so that way it's not like resting on here. Plus, so I need to clean up and I need to pack up my, um, I need to pack my purse. I have three purse options to um, choose from, so I need to go from there, and I need to... Alright, this is just for um, the TikTok. I ain't gonna wear um, the two of these together, even though, I mean, people would probably say, Yeah, wear the two together, but I don't know if I want to wear um, the two together. Like, I don't know that's gonna be my forte um, for tonight, even though it does cover up the cleavage a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, I'm just putting on, on my jewelry. So this is part of my bling um, collection, which... I have never done a video on. Like, I asked y'all, but I mean, I, I'm, it's given. We don't care about um, your bling collection. I'm going to, it's 8.35, so I'm good on time, man. I'm going to, I'm going to pack up my purse. I'm going to um, film some more content upstairs. All right, so I did some TikToks. I mean, I'm right on time. I just need to get my jacket and I need to get my shoes. And this is going to be my um, purse for tonight, which I need to put that together but it's gonna be on my purse for tonight i think this is perfect like it covers this right here and i just took off my little heart necklace or my little heart pendant pardon me so this is how we are i'm um, looking like the nails are just so stinking cute despite that some of them came off from today but hey after today i don't care what charm what heart rank i don't care what i want to come off these um nails like i don't care but for tonight, they need to stay. And I need to fix that because the sun is definitely gone. I'm not gonna like film like this in the club, but I mean, I am going to um do some Snapchats. I mean, my Snapchatters, um, they be seeing everything um, first. But man, for you guys, I'm gonna download my Snap. Like anything I'm doing on Snap, I'm gonna download it and then in here. I'm just gonna be included in the vlogs. <laughs> Alrighty, baby, so it is, you see the time. I'm not gonna say it, but it was lots of fun. But thank you for watching this episode of Keep It With Tay Rose. I'm going to just chip out because my um, my energy is like running um, on low. I need to remove the makeup and go to sleep. But catch you in the previous episodes and in previous videos. See you over there.